from local A1 English Department Education. Today I have story to tell you it is about Roro Jongrang. Who is Roro Jongrang? Let's listen to the story. Once upon time, in an ancient times in Prambanan, Central Java, stood two Hindu kingdoms, namely the Penging Kingdom and the Boko Place. The Penging Kingdom was led by a wise king, Prabhu Damarmoyo, and has and has a son named Raden Bandung Bondoso. The Boko Place was in territory of the Penging Kingdom ruled by an independent human king, Prabhu Boko, who had a beautiful princess, and named princess is Roro Jongrang. Kraton Boko has a giant pati, Pati Gupolo. Prabhu Boko wanted to, to rule the Penging Kingdom. So he and Pati Gupolo gathered stake and guarded provision to colonize Penging. Who are you, young man? It looks like you are not citizens of this kingdom, said Pati Gupolo. I need it now. I am. Raden Bandung Bondoso, son of Prabhu Damarmoyo from Penging Kingdom. My purpose for coming here is to offense my father against your king because you have made our people suffer, said Bandung Bondoso. Perfect, because I will also take over your king. I will make you a prisoner and force the king of king to ab abdicate, said Pati Gupolo. Don't dream of beating my supernatural powers, said Bandung Bonoso. The first battle lasted a long time with the reset of the kingdom of Penging. He won. Prabhu Boko, the king of Boko Place, was killed at the hand of Raden Bandung Bondoso, the Boko place, trapped the world life in despair, returned to the kingdom, which was secretly followed by Bandung Bondoso. How it is! My arm is getting less. It's better for us to all retreat and return to the kingdom. Bring the king back to the kingdom. Save the king, said Pati Gupolo. Attack! Them all, I will kill Prabhu Boko. Finish of all the openness you meet, said Bandung Bandawaso. Prabhu, Prabhu, oh no, I will return to the kingdom to report this to the princess, said, said Pati Gupolo. Finally, I can avenge my father and also for my people. I will follow you. Wherever you go, Pati Gupolo, said Bandu Bondoso. Saying the king died, the governor of Gupolo escaped, and Raden Bandung Bondoso chased to governor to the Boko place, everything in the kingdom of Boko. Princess, princess, is there anyone here? Bodyguard, court lady, princess, princess, said. Pati Gupolo. What's wrong, Pati? Why do you look righteous and in a hurry? Said Dayang. Right, the king was killed and the kingdom was defied by the enemy. Hurry and tell Princess Roro Jongrang. Said Pati Gupolo. Good, Pati. Said Dayang. Sometimes later, after the court lady found the Princess, 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 <laughs> said Dayang. What's wrong, ladies? What happened? said Roro Jongrang. Prabhu, Prabhu Boko was killed by his enemy, Bandung Bondoso, said Dayang. There, there's no way. My father could be defeated, let alone be killed. Where is Pati Gupolo? I want to meet him, Pati. Is the truth that father is gone? Said 
roared Jongrang. Yes, princess, his majesty, the king is gone. He was killed by Bandung Bondowoso, said Pati Gupolo. Really? Is this true? said Roro Jongrang. Yes, princess, the king Penging and his son Bandung Bondowoso and his army have finished this noble Boko kingdom, said Pati Gupolo. Just look at the, my rivets. Later, I did not accept, said Roro Jongrang. In the midst of a conversation between Roro Jongrang and Dayang, suddenly a young man named Bandung Bondowoso arrived at Boko Place. When he arrived at the Boko Place, he was surprised to see the beautiful princess. Oh, beautiful princess, what is your name? said Bandung Bondowoso. I am the daughter of Roro Jongrang, said Roro Jongrang. How are you? Very presumptuous of you, towards, said Dayang. I am Raden Bandung Bondowoso, son of Kingdom of Penging, said Bandung Bondowoso. Princess, isn't he the one who killed your father? Whispering to the princess, said Dayang. Really? You are really cruel, said Roro Jongrang. She very mad. <laughs> now this kingdom has mine, but to govern this kingdom I need an empress to accompany me and you rent out out to be very beautiful. You, you deserve fries to be my empress. Will you be my queen, princess? said Bandung Bonoso. Not willing. I don't want to be close to you. How can I become your queen? said Roro Jongrang. If you are my companion, you can also have this kingdom. So you don't need to get out of this kingdom and live well with me. How are you interested? said Bandung Bondowoso. Not visit at all. Are you deaf? said Roro Jongrang. Good. Please get out of my kingdom. Go away from here and don't ever set your foot here again, said Bandung Bondowoso. Without speaking, Roro Jongrang immediately left Bandung Bondowoso because of his protection with Bondowoso who killed his father. Roro Jongrang was still devastated by the war that left his father killed. Princess? Is the princess still safe? said Dayang. Currently, ladies in waiting, I had Bondowoso who killed my father, said Roro Jongrang. What if the princess also offends Bandung Bondowoso? said Dayang. Yes, I agree, but how do I fence my anger? said Roro Jongrang. Looks like Bandung Bondowoso likes princess. What if you cheat and reclaim the princess throne? said Dayang. That's good idea. I get it, said Roro Jongrang, Roro Jongrang with smiling and refreshing. Roro Jongrang returned to Boko Place to meet Bandung Bondowoso and the princess start her game with Bandung Bondowoso. Bandung, Bandung Bondowoso, out you, said Roro Jongrang. Wow, princess, what do you came for? Here for, said Bandung Bondowoso. I came here to accept your offer back then. I want to be your queen, said Roro Jongrang. Good, that smart choice of the princess, said Bandung Bodewoso. But I have condition for you to be about to help me, said Roro Jongrang. What? What is that? 
I will fulfill are your condition, said Badung Bonawoso. It easy. Make me a thousand temples in one night. The temples must be visited before the sunrise. If you can, you must give this kingdom back to me. Are you willing? Said Roro Jongra. All right, I will fulfill your wish, said Bandung Bondoso. After hearing the wishes of Roro Jongrang, Bandung then headed for the haunted forest in the kingdom of Pengin to meet the genies that he usually asked for help. Bandung impressed to call the genies. Oh, genies, come to me. Come here. I want to ask for your help. Come to me, genies, said Bandung Bonawaso. What is that? Noble wants to see us, said genies. I want to ask all of you help to me to make a thousand temples in one night. Can you help me? said Bandung Bonawaso. That easy. We will make a noble request, said genies. Good. Now do it face, said Bandung Bonawaso. The genies also called in a few more friends to help him with a thousand temples. The genies did the job very quickly. By midnight, hope the number of temples had been completed. The court lady, who knew the temple was almost finished, immediately reported to Roro Jungram. Princess! Princess! The making of a thousand temples by Bandung Bonawasa is almost complete, said Dayang. What? I must prevent it so that the temples was never made, said Roro Jongrang. Calm down, princess. There must be a way out, said Dayang. All right, court lady, wake up other ladies before dawn and tell them to burn straw and pot rice in the rice field and disturb all the roster that are so they all crawl said Roro Jongram. Fine, princess. The ladies in waiting wake up the other ladies in waiting and told them to burn straw and pour rice in the field and disturb our the roster that they were all crowing as ordered by Roro Jongram. The sound of a roster sounds. What's going on there? Where is the rotors growing at time like this? Said Banu Manuos. Hey genies! Where is there a sound of crop growing? Look the, like the sun is about to rise. Look at the girls also begin on the rice field. Let's go! Said genies to the old friends. Hey hey! What are you doing? Quickly finish, you, finish your work! Quickly, said Bandung Bandawaso. Forgive us, your honor. The sun has risen, so we have to go the other ways. We will burn out. The genies placed leaving the temple that was almost finished. The genies leave their jobs. The temple are just a little more finished. Rodo Jongrang looks happy because the plan is successful. And Bandungwoso cannot fulfill its requirement. On other hand, Bandung Bandungwoso was very disappointed because he could not make Roro Jongrang his son course. But Bandungwoso was even more disappointed and angry after learning of Roro Jongrang's plane, which deliberately throated his Efforts. Bandung Bondawaso was so angry. He knew Loro Jongrang just tricked him. You cannot fool me, Loro Jongrang. I already have 1999 temples. The Amon is less one, exclaimed Loro Jongrang. My Majesty, you have failed the quality which I ask. Bandung Bondawaso surprised to learn that. 
he feigned sensi. He became very angry. No way, said Pondewasa, glowering to Jongrang. I just need one more temple. Now I will make you the one thousand temple. With his supernatural power, Bandung Bonawoso made Loro Jongrang a temple. Until now, the temple is standing in Prambanan area, central Java, and the temple is named Loro Jongrang Temple. That's all for me. I'm sorry if there are mistakes. Uh, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.